Hi everyone, this is Phil from Seahorse Kentuckys. Like you, for the last few weeks I've been stuck away in my man cave. I've been working on a few projects like building a new flying wing. Hopefully I'll be able to fly that soon. Uh, but today I'm going to take the opportunity to show you what you should be able to what you should be aiming to achieve for the first flight of your Revo 4 Kentucky drone. The first flight is to just get it off the ground and get used to how it operates. And to do that, I will show you some helpful hints on how to use your transmitter and controlling it. So we'll head off down to the park and we'll get on to that soon. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to put the props on. So the props, you match the colour on the prop to the colour on the motor. So silver to silver, gold to gold. They go on and they screw in a backwards manner. So gold to gold, and that screws anti-clockwise, and the silver ones screw clockwise. They wind on in the way that once the motor runs they will actually tighten it up so they are self tightening. Whoops. I always give them a little tweak to make sure they are tight so they don't go flopping off. Next thing is to test our battery. Coming up at 25.1, which is good. I've just charged it, and that's what it should be. The battery slides in. Tuck the balance lead away. Put your battery holder in. And then get your transmitter ready. So with your transmitter, I like to have a lanyard on there. The lanyard has the benefit that it carries the weight of the transmitter and it means you can control the switches easier. Okay, we're all turned on. We can now plug the drone in and it should all start up. Okay, this is the third time I've come out to the park to do this. The first time when I recorded it, I got a lot of drone and not much control unit. The second time I got a lot of control unit and not much drone. So this time I will try and do it where I get both. So to go through what you need to do for your first flight is learn how to use the transmitter and learn how the, the drone responds to your movements. To work the transmitter, people have got two general ways they do it. One is they use their thumbs on top of the control units. This is good if you're flying a racing drone or something like that where you're having to make constant movements and changes to the controls. But for our drone fishing, we're simply pushing the throttle up and then we're moving forward. So the other way people do it is all with a pinch grip or just putting a bit of pressure and positioning the sticks to where they need to be to achieve the movement we want. That way we're using the centering function of the uh, joysticks to help us control the drone. So let's get flying. The first thing we need to do is arm the drone. So we pull the sticks down and together and the motors will start up. And then we slowly push the throttle up and if we get up to halfway, then it will sit there. If we go up over halfway, the drone will accelerate and it will take off. There we go. It will go up and down a little bit due to the wind blowing and also the changes of pressure around the drone because it uses air pressure to control how high it's flying. So we'll just pull the throttle back to the centre and it will now hover roughly in one position. To make the drone go forward, i.e. out to sea, we gently push the stick forward and it will fly away from us. As you can see we do not need massively big movements and we need to keep it gentle and easily simply control the drone back and forth as to where we want it to go. As soon as you let go of the stick, the stick centres itself and the drone will slow down and stop. Likewise we can go 
to the left and we can come back to the right. The stick on the left here will also control the yaw or the rotate. So if we rotate round there, now if we go forward it now flies out sideways to us. So be very careful when you yaw because things won't necessarily respond the way you're expecting. Come down a little bit, especially if you turn completely. Whoops. Completely 180 degrees. Now, when I go to the right, the drone flies to my left. So that can be confusing and it's something you need to be aware of. So we'll rotate back around. Yep. Come back. We'll fly out again. And we'll fly back. Pull back slightly. And now to land it, all we have to do is bring the throttle just down below halfway and the drone will slowly come down. It will hesitate a little bit from time to time as the pressure changes and we will get a ground effect where it may sort of stop and bounce above the ground. All we have to do is either pull the throttle down slightly more or we let it come down onto the ground and once it lands we can pull the throttle all the way down and it will power down and stop. So again to arm you pull the sticks together, the motor starts, push some throttle up and the drone will not take off until you get past halfway. And once you're past halfway, it will take a little bit of time, but it will slowly lift off. You don't need to go full throttle because it will go quite fast. And we'll come back down land again and throttle down and it powers off. So for your first flight just take it gentle, don't push it, don't go too far, don't try anything extreme. You're just learning how to control the sticks and you're learning how the drone responds to your action. So keep it gentle, keep it soft. Okay, best of luck and see you next time.